All right, hi everyone. Welcome. My name is Audrey and welcome to my 100 day project. Today is day 66 and I'll be painting bell peppers with gouache. I really appreciate you being here, whether you're watching this live or catching the replay. Um, just making time to create is so important. So I just want to encourage you and affirm you for doing that. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, we always start our sessions with our breathing exercise to so go ahead and get into a comfortable position and you can close your eyes or open your eyes whatever's comfortable for you and just breathe in and out and just remind yourself that you're not going to focus on the results today that you're going to allow yourself to make mistakes allow yourself to have fun allow yourself to relax and enjoy this time so let's go ahead and do that back together hi linda hello thanks for joining i always appreciate you being here <laughs> um all right well let me know what you're working on in the in the chat or in the comments um uh what was i gonna say i completely lost my train of thought <laughs> okay that's okay um, yeah, I just wanted to show you, I'll just go on. So I already sketched out what I was going to paint today or what I'm going to paint today. And I know I said that I would bring a bell pepper from my garden, but they're looking pretty sad. Like they're looking really sad. <laughs> so yesterday and the day before was like, like a hundred degrees here in Chicago. And so obviously I forgot to water my pots and the bell peppers just basically got really shriveled up and some of them also didn't grow to like a normal height uh, i mean normal right um so they don't look right i don't i don't know i don't know like i thought that bell peppers were supposed to be like a little longer but all of mine are like really short like me <laughs> so i don't know what happened um Maybe because I was growing them in pots rather than like in the garden bed. So whatever. So anyway, I don't have them, um, but that's okay because we're going to paint them anyway, or I'm going to paint them anyway. It, I, I don't really need to have it in front of me. So anyway. Um, all right. Okay. Hi, Linda. Not much today. My Jeep has a service appointment today. Oh, I hope everything's okay. Man, car troubles always get me like really nervous. Like I, I remember for the first time, um, like I was driving on the highway and then like a rock, you know, flew into my windshield and then, um, and, and, and then I saw the crack, you know, and then as I was driving, cause I had to go somewhere, you know? So as I was driving, I saw that crack go from like half an inch to like, to like two and a half feet long, you know, it just, it just got slowly bigger and bigger. And as I'm driving, I'm like seeing it grow and I'm like, oh my God, um, so that was the last time that my car had like 
a really huge issue. So then I had to get the entire window um, replaced. Um, but anyway, a service appointment is obviously not that dire or that severe, but still, I hope everything's okay. Um, all right, well, let's get into it. Okay, so I have some of my colors here. So I'm gonna do actually like all the colors. Well, except for orange. I didn't prepare for orange, but I have red, yellow, and then I'm also gonna do some green ones, but I really wanted the red and yellow to kind of like take center stage. So that's what's here in the middle. And then in terms of colors, it was really hard because I don't know if I wanna go for like the brighter, yeah, the brighter colors, or if I wanted just more like true flat colors so i feel like these are kind of more on the flatter side like if i used mm, where's my other yellow like if i used this yellow right this one's like a lot brighter but at the same time like this might be a little hard to see at least at least that's what i've noticed and then i mean this yellow could be just a little bit brighter than this well my swatch will tell me right <sighs> Canola yellow versus gardenia. So it looks like this one might be a little bit brighter. So maybe we'll go with that. So maybe I'll go with the canola instead of the gardenia. And then for the green bell pepper, again, you could do like a more, you know, like a typical kind of green bell pepper, or you can go a little bit, a little bit darker, you know, so I wasn't sure exactly. So I have the evergreen out now because I figured maybe I'll just like mix it into some of the brighter greens that I already have in my palette. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and then I have some orange in here, some red orange in here. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of carmine into it just to like make it just a little bit more red. This one is now a little bit more red pink and like magenta. So I don't want to put that in there. So those are the colors I'm working with. Seriously, this swatch chart, you guys got to make a swatch chart. I, I refer to this all the time. Okay. So those are the colors I'm using. Hi, Rina. Hello. Oh, just an oil change. Okay. That's not too bad. <laughs> I'm glad it's not a big issue. So yeah i hope you guys have a good time creating today again remember it's not about the results you know just have fun with it and you know i've had some you know pages in my sketchbook where i'm like eh, i don't really like it you know i've had those pages um but i still showed up you know and i showed up the next day and that's what it's all about you know <clears throat> so let me get my phone ready here Okay. Alrighty. Well, let me pop on some music and I will see you in a little bit. <laughs>
everyone. <laughs> Hello. Oh, thank you, Rena. Lovely pattern for kitchen grill accessories. Gouache has become comfortable and vivid. Yes, I am. If I haven't said it enough, I am in love with gouache. <laughs> Seriously. Like, I can't seem to stop. And, you know, like, I think when people, you know, see two paints like this, I mean, I was definitely one of them. Like, I saw two paints like this and I was like, I'm never going to, um, you know, like there's that fear of like using these because you don't want to waste anything and you know, like you don't want to waste any paint. You don't want to like everything just seems so like valuable and um, yeah, and you feel like you can't waste it, you know, and so I was definitely one of those people and I was very hesitant. Like I had the gouache. Remember, I I filmed my gouache review or the overview like I think two years ago <laughs> or at least a year ago if not two years ago and i just let it sit there i just let it collect dust like that was me you know and what if i had started painting with gouache two years ago like why didn't i why didn't i you know i kind of regret it but i you know who cares we are here now so that's okay but i'm really really loving it and i think part of my hang up was that i tend to focus a lot on the logistics so um, and, and I think I've shared this in the live stream before, but like logistics, like what do I do when the paint is all dried up? You know, I mean, thank God that gouache is, you know, gouache is watercolor so you can reactivate it with water. But that's seriously my biggest hang up to using acrylic gouache because you can't reactivate it. I know you can put it in the wherever my stay wet palette is now, I know you can put it in a stay wet palette and try to keep it moist and, you know, keep it going, but it is still going to dry out eventually. And then that to me is like a waste, you know? So that's why like, yeah, gouache is definitely a good sidestep from watercolor, but acrylic gouache, man, I have to, I have to really muster up the nerve to do it. I really do. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you, Rena. I will try to make a video of comparing watercolor and gouache. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, they're very similar. Um, but yes, there are some very obvious differences. Yeah, I, you have that fear of using gouache and not using paint when it hardens. I know, exactly. Linda, yes, you understand the tubes are so small and you're like, you don't want to waste it. Okay, I'm glad. Thank you, Rena. Yes, I have found the courage and look how far I've come. I know, thank you. But yeah, you totally understand the fear and I'm sure there are others of you who feel that fear too. You know, you're just like, it's so little. But honestly, like how many paintings have I done so far? Like, and... And, and, and I've used this same palette. I mean, you can go back to my other previous um, uh, live streams, but I've used the same palette. Yes, I have added like little bits at a time. And then, okay, I do need to find my Stay Wet palette because, okay, here it is. <laughs> so my Stay Wet palette, like I still haven't changed out the palette paper. Sorry. Like it's still the same palette paper and I have used up almost all the colors on here. I've actually added white several times and then I used these for the blackberries at one time, you know? So like now that I'm actually using it, like you actually end up, you know, using it up. <laughs> and then sometimes if I don't use it up, I actually have a mixed media watercolor sketchbook like over there but um if i know that i need to replace one of these colors then i'll try to use it up by just painting something else like painting abstract shapes or other fruits or just whatever else you know so then i try to use it up and then i clean it out so there's a purpose to everything you know and, and so i try not to waste it so that's just, that's just an idea if you don't want to waste your paint yeah absolutely um, oh, thanks, Rena. When you get bored of watercolor, you play around with gouache all through this live, um, or all, all through this 100 day project. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. And I'm glad that you also work with different media. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but look at all of the paintings that I've, I've already done with just, you know, the gouache. And you think that, oh, I'm going to run out. But 
like look at these tubes like i'm still like there's still a good amount in there like like look how thick they are still you know i think the only color that i might have used up a lot are like my greens just because i love green you know <laughs> so no not this green well yeah the evergreen i have used up quite a lot and then obviously white and black you're going to use up probably the actually the white is probably what you're going to use up the most so yeah so the white i can definitely feel like i've used already like an i don't even know how to measure it but like if, if this is 15 milliliters i probably use like two milliliters you know so far so i yeah and there's a couple other colors that i have used up quite a lot but i i really have gotten my money's worth i mean look how many things i painted and then remember i was i was actually started i started in day day 29 and i'm on day 66 like i've done all of these paintings too you know and even this one like look how much gouache and paint that i used in this one and i'm still going you know yes i have like 48 tubes you know but i haven't used every single color so anyway all that to say seriously don't let fear hold you back <laughs> i mean i just posted a youtube short about that but that was more about my teaching business but even when it comes to supplies please don't let fear you know hold you back like it took me two years to get back to gouache i hope that's not your story um and i hope that you're able to overcome it faster than me all right, anyway, Charcoal's over there, like, taking a nap. He's like, he's like, are you done yet? <laughs> anyway, here's the painting in this view. All right. Um, we didn't do our closeout, so let's do that real quick. So let's just wash out our brushes, clean up a little, breathe in and out, breathe in and out. Okay. And then just say some affirmations to yourself, like be really proud, you know, of how far you've come, you know, what you painted today, however you're feeling. Let's do that. all right okay i just want to say one more thing before you guys go so i just noticed so this is the same these two are the same brushes these are both um round size three what's interesting is that you know um like this one is the older brush and this one's newer and you can kind of see that the points are not the same so i'm gonna try to do a test later today but um like this one is holding the point much better. I don't know what happened, but um, I'm going to try to wash this. Actually, I'm, I should probably wash all of my brushes, <laughs> but I'm going to wash them with the master's brush. Show you guys. This guy, the master's brush cleaner. So it's basically like, you know, brush soap. Um, and I haven't used it all that often, but you just add a little bit of water and then just kind of, you know, rub your brush into it and then just kind of massage it in there and then reshape your brushes. So I'm going to try to do this tonight. That's my Friday night activity <laughs> to wind down my evening. All right. Um, oh, Rena, it took you three years to get back to acrylics. Yeah. So again, like there's no regret, you know, into how long it takes you or, you know, why it took that long. Like there's no regret. There's no shame. Um, but if you are, but if you're in the place where you're allowing fear to hold you back, then I just want to gently challenge you, you know, gently urge you to, you know, try to overcome that and you don't have to do it alone. You know, that's why I'm hosting these lives so that we can do it together, you know? So, all right, you're much, oh, Linda, you're much better with acrylic than watercolor. Yeah. And that's great too. Like, I'm, you know, I don't have any, um, I don't discriminate, you know, you can use acrylics on my channel. It'll just be a little bit different, you know, 
and the process will be a little different but yeah you're more than welcome to use acrylics oil pastels whatever you're working on while we're um while we're doing this creative time together so anyway thank you so much for joining i'm sure truckle would say bye if he could he's just hanging out over there um I really appreciate you guys. Have a great weekend. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Next week I will be live. Whew. Wow. Next week is, or next weekend is Labor Day weekend already. Wow. Um, so next week I'll be live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday it looks like. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'll see you then. It's the end of the month already. <sighs> I hope you find some time to paint this weekend too. So. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, chocolate. Say bye. <laughs>